what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm a halloween ends in this video here today another solo video on the topic of this movie now i wanted to talk about this idea of us getting two different versions of halloween ends at the same time this october now if i'm remembering correctly that extended cut that didn't come until the home media release but could they do something related to an extended cut coming to theaters and then something different being shown on Peacock, you know, like an extended cut, maybe vice versa, extended cut on Peacock or alternate ending on Peacock. Theatrical cut gives you another different ending, theatrical ending, and then they could do something completely different with the home media release. This is coming to the people coming to people's minds, going off of what Jamie Lee Curtis and her word choice she had in that announcement video she made confirming that the movie would indeed arrive this fall on peacock and in theaters on the same day of october 14th she said in the announcement video you could go to the theater and then rewatch it at home and then go back to the theater and then rewatch it at home again i mean no spoilers but i have a feeling that's what you may want to do i think that's what she said so a lot of people are looking into that why is she thinking you might want to do that i mean honestly if i'm thinking about myself I did that with Halloween Kills. I did watch it in theaters, watch it at home on Peacock, and then go watch it in theaters again. Maybe you genuinely, for whatever reason, just want to do that. <laughs> but she could be also alluding to the fact that we get multiple versions available to us at the same time this fall, and that's going to then spark people watching it at home and then rushing to go see it in theaters to see what was different in theaters or if anything is different like the ending if it's confirmed you start seeing all this talk online they're going to go out of their way to see it in theaters to see this alternate ending or see this alternate opening see an alternate kill uh some extended sequences something that might not be in the peacock version that's in the theatrical version something that's not in the, the theatrical version that's in the peacock version that's what people are thinking about so i do believe that they are going to give us one movie i do however also remember coming out of test screenings people who were saying they watched it a lot of these people who are saying they watched the movie there's parts where when they get to talking about the ending where they don't line up either they were lying or again because i think i've seen some people like viewer non actually already point this out they did indeed show two different cuts but that doesn't mean that everybody who knows about that actually saw these two different cuts <laughs> could they be doing that one of these cuts that were test screen are going to peacock the other one is going to theaters what is different in there maybe one sequence you have laurie strode killing michael myers by herself and in another cut you have laurie strode killing michael myers with the assistance of her granddaughter allison nelson you could have something go down where maybe this is just something completely off the rails and i would I, i'm not saying i would want to see this you could have a tag team tag team scenario <laughs> allison and Lori taking out Corey cunningham and michael myers not that michael myers is of course respectfully and consciously choosing to align himself with Corey cunningham more so as Corey is deciding to align himself with michael by the end of it because of how Lori and allison end up treating him when he goes on his killing spree and after of course michael presumably returns to town that's again assuming Corey ends up being this copycat killer that steals michael's mask michael returns to get his mask back see something like that i don't think they're going to do that i was just throwing it out there as a, another potential weird scenario you could have go down in this movie most likely though they're going to give us one movie. I don't really think that she was trying to purposely say we're going to have a reason to go see it in theaters as well as seeing it in Peacock as much as she was saying maybe you're someone who would enjoy watching it multiple ways when you have both available for whatever reason. Because again, I did that with Halloween Hills. I watched it in theaters first, watched it at home on Peacock, went out of my way to watch it in theaters again just because you might want to see if it's a different experience in theaters versus at home or if you take something away from the movie versus one style of unit over another the whole multiple endings or multiple copies cuts coming that can still very well much happen because again they apparently had two cuts test screen what was different in them i do not know i'm assuming it most likely has to do with how the movie ends 
maybe in one cut michael actually kills allison and laurie strode and he's the one victorious in the end not i'll even throw Corey in there he kills Corey, he kills allison and he kills laurie strode and he walks away from the town of haddonfield as the most confident mass murderer serial killer there is in haddonfield existence <laughs> in this universe so it could be that or again most likely her comments were not alluding to two cuts coming but then again jamie lee curtis i think for a lot of people they think she has ulterior motives they a lot of people don't think she's very truthful with why she's back in the franchise and you're fine to think that about her uh i don't think that she was really trying to allude to the fact that there's going to be two cuts coming do i think two cuts are coming not this fall not right away like that i think you will get that second cut as like a home media release if they still give you two cuts this fall one on peacock one in theaters then so be it that'll be something that again hopefully drives up the box office income because i know a lot of people are like oh they're throwing money away why would they do that why are you releasing it on peacock when this year has proven to be such a good success for big blockbuster movies like this which is perfect for the halloween season and you're throwing money away that's the mentality that some people have and i can understand where you're coming from the mentality that they should have held off on this until two weeks after it was in theaters to kind of soak in as much money as they can at the box office i think i've even saw like one of the producers ryan freeman saying that this is a battle he couldn't win and the movie's just going to be going to peacock and in cinema so i guess some producers weren't along with this idea ultimately this is what it's going to be like it's going to be on peacock and it's going to be in theaters those people who don't have the who don't have the ability to go out to theaters right now or maybe don't want to they'll enjoy having this available to them in the comfort of their own home those of you who are worried about the business aspect of it you can worry about that all you want to i'm not really too concerned about it again because it's the last entry in this david gordon green timeline but if jamie lee curtis was referencing two cuts these two cuts most likely just have to do with how the movie ends one with allison doing the killing maybe one with laura doing the killing or one where neither one of them does any killing on michael and michael kills them both or maybe one where Michael and Laura die together. We'll all find out this October. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and you miss a video in the description. I'll have links to all my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.